See, a lot of us tend to, tend to think about decisions as though their, their main purpose, that the act of making a decision is simply to clear a path, right? To, to clarify the road ahead. And in reality, that is one important function of a decision, but there's also another important function, and that's the decisions, the act of making a decision, little ones or big ones, also restores our confidence. Now, one of, the, one of history's great mysteries was why George Washington, back in 1776, during the, the first year of the Revolutionary War, in which he's leading this undermanned, underfunded, woefully underfunded military. Most of the soldiers didn't even have shoes against the most powerful military in the world. And every single day leads to one humiliating defeat after another. And yet, in spite of all this, in spite of the fact that if he loses this war, he's most likely gonna get sent to the hangman's gallows for treason, and he's not even coming close to winning at this point. In spite of all this, he goes back to his tent every night, and he spends hours, right, until the wee hours of the morning writing letters back home. And the content of these letters is not professing his undying love to Martha, or even talking about his anxieties about the war. What he's doing in these letters is he's actually writing out detailed instructions for the home renovation project going on at Mount Vernon. Right? He's talking about what shades of red the curtains in the dining room ought to be, and what kind of handles we should go on the drawers in the, in the new kitchen, and the patterns of rugs in the, in the dining room, and the drawing room. And this has baffled historians for literally two centuries, trying to figure out, I mean, was he, was he delusional? Did he not know what he had at stake here? And back in the 90s, uh, a couple of psychologists from UCLA and NYU actually gave us a really important clue as to why he was doing this. See, what they found is in this uh, series of, of laboratory experiments, they found that before people make a decision, when they're contemplating something as simple as where to go on vacation, their self-esteem drops, their confidence drops, they become more pessimistic, they feel more vulnerable to risks, and then the second they make a decision and lay out two or three steps on how they're gonna execute that decision, all of a sudden, their optimism skyrockets, their confidence shoots up, their self-esteem goes up. They actually feel less vulnerable to completely uncontrollable risks like hurricanes and earthquakes. And what they conclude here is, is that when we make a decision, our brain shifts into what they call an implementation mindset, right? It gets ready to take action. We're no longer in contemplation. We get ready to take action. And it has this ripple effect on every other aspect of our thinking. And so effectively, what George Washington was doing every night was after dealing with the day's horrible challenges, he would go back and he was refueling his resilience generator so that the next morning he could get up and make all the big important decisions that he had to make. These little controllable decisions at night refueled his generator and powered his mind for the next day. And every night, he would refuel his generator. And so that's the power of decisions. <laughs>